guys, it's Truman from Tacoma Lifestyle. Today we're going to be installing the new Diodynamic Form headlights. They're super sleek and we're going to be replacing these old OEM ones. They have low light output as well as poor styling to match the rest of the truck. We're going to be installing these headlights as well as Diodynamic Fog Lights will be in a separate video, link in the description below. And so we're going to get into this install, show you exactly how to do it. Okay guys, these are the Form Lighting headlights with Diodynamics. I'm just going to open it up here and show you what comes inside the kit. This kit is factory plug and play, which is super nice. It makes everything easier on us for the install as well as for you. These have a super nice fitment. They fit super sleek, just like the OEM ones. And this is what comes in the kit with us today. As you can tell, the factory harnesses are going to be replaced with these ones and they did not cheap out. These are super nice. I would definitely trust these and they're labeled as well. So it's a lot less confusing. They look super sleek blacked out design pull these out for you and they're going to look super nice on the lunar rock build okay so starting to pull off the bumper we're going to go ahead and start in this bottom corner right here this doesn't apply to all tacomas but ours does have these fender flares on them that we're going to need to remove i'll show you how to do that just in case the tools that you're going to need for this install today are fairly simple it's just a 10 millimeter socket that we throw on a drill and then just a flathead screwdriver or a pry tool if you have one, it makes it easier. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a flathead screwdriver today. All right, so starting off, we just have to remove one 10 millimeter bolt and one clip. It's just gonna be two right here. The top one's the 10 millimeter. And the bottom one is the clip. You just stick your screwdriver behind it. Pop it out, super easy. Okay, next step is to removing the front section of this fender. Toyota does apply an adhesive to make these stay on better, but it only starts about here. And so from here all the way back is where the adhesive is. Luckily, there's none to the front, and so we can just pull it away. All right, so behind the fender liner, we're going to see these two tabs. They're not tapped into anything. They're just sitting on top of the fender. And so we're just going to go ahead and stick our screwdriver in here and pull the fender liner away from the bumper like that and then make sure the bumper is off this tab right here. All right, with the driver's side all prepped to be removed, we're gonna do the same on the passenger side. All right, now the passenger side is prepped. We're gonna go underneath the car and remove all the bolts under there. And we'll show you exactly which ones you need to remove. All right, so starting on the passenger side, it's just gonna be one right next to the tire right here, and then one just below it, closer to the bumper. And then coming underneath, we have two in the center that we're going to remove, one right here, and one just to the right of it. Now on the driver's side, we're just going to remove the same bolt underneath and close to the tire. All right, now popping the hood, we're gonna go ahead and remove this whole grill and shroud piece right here. Okay, now with the hood up, you're gonna see two bolts and two clips that we're gonna have to remove, as well as one wiring harness. And so one clip is gonna be right here by the headlight, two bolts along the top, and then the exact same clip on the other side. All right, and then just to the right of the driver's side bolt that we just removed is this wiring harness right here. We're just gonna come underneath, squeeze the tab and remove the harness. All 
All right, and then this tab holding in the wiring harness that we just removed, just squeeze it together and push it down out of the tab. With that disconnected, lift these up and pull them off the hook. All right, with the tabs unhooked from the top, there's gonna be two clips, one on either side, that will be removed when we just pull away this grill. Okay, with this grill part removed, it exposes the six tabs that we have to now remove. There's gonna be four along the bottom, very visible here, and then two up by the headlights right here. All right, so with those tabs removed along the front, we're just gonna come back to the driver's side. There's nothing really holding this bumper in anymore. And so when we pull the bumper away from the fender, the front's gonna wanna fall off. And so just be ready to catch it, walk your way over to the passenger side, pull it off as well. If you have a buddy to help you out, this would be the time to do so just to get it on the other side as well. All right, so holding onto this bumper before it falls, we're gonna catch this fog light harness right here. Just gonna come to this harness connecting these two together and then this tab holding in the harness itself. All right, with the bumper removed, we can just carefully set it to the side, start working on the headlight. All right, so to remove the headlight itself, we're just gonna get this 10 millimeter bolt removed right here, and then towards the right, there's gonna be another one. All right, and then the one to the right of it right here. And then one more underneath. All right, removing this top hook right here, this will release itself from the fender and the frame. And then there's gonna be one tab down here that should disconnect when pulling these headlights out. Now with the harnesses exposed, we're just gonna come back here and disconnect all the harnesses and all of the turn signals. All right, so we got the new headlights. We're gonna keep this on until the end of the install to prevent it from getting scratched or anything like that, as we'd recommend you do the same. And then we'll show you how to connect the harnesses. Okay, so these are labeled high beam and low beam. So we're just gonna come in here and grab our high beam and low beam headlights and then plug them in. These harnesses are gonna go together one way. And so if they slip on and click, you know they're on the correct one. And so that was the low beam right there. And we're going to grab the high beam, which is this yellow tab. It's going to go into this one. So we got all the harnesses connected. We're going to go ahead and tuck these back behind the light, making sure nothing gets pinched. And then buttoning up everything into where we pulled them out from. Making sure that this bottom left harness gets seated into the position that it pulled out at. Just like that. And then everything should go in nicely. Just like that. All right, so with that bottom clipped in, we can just go ahead and throw in these 10 millimeter bolts back on top to secure it in. Not forgetting the one on the side. All right, with those connected back in, I'm gonna pull away the plastic and we're gonna test all the lights, the turn signals. If you want them sequential, you're gonna leave the small singular clip plugged in. We'll show what that looks like. And if you want them unsequential, just unplug them and they'll do non-sequential. Okay, so this singular clip right here that branches off from the rest of the harness is the sequential clip. Right now they're connected and are sequential. If you want them non-sequential, just pull that tab up and disconnect the harness. 
All right, so whether you're going to go sequential or non-sequential with the charge signals is totally up to you. If you decide to unplug them, make sure to wrap up both connections with electrical tape, making sure no dust gets in there in case you want to reconnect them. With that decided, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side, and we're going to throw the bumper and grill back on. All right, so here is the last thing that we need to do with these old OEM headlights. Just remove this plastic piece right here to cover this garnish. And so we just need a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so holding on to those two bolts right here, just gonna remove this plastic piece transfer onto the new diodynamic form headlights. All right now that we have the plastic garnish removed from the OEM ones, they just slap right on here on the new ones and are secured with the same OEM Phillips head bolts. and slap this on the same thing as the other side. All right, suiting the bumper back up is the same as taking it off. We're just gonna line up all the tabs and clip holes that we did when taking it off, make sure no wires are tucked. And we're gonna plug this back in, connecting the fog lights back together, and then we're gonna do up all the clips along the front as well as on the side. All right, with the bumper suited back up, we're just gonna go ahead and re replace these six tabs right here. And then once those are on, we're gonna go ahead and re-secure the bolts that line underneath the bumper, underneath. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall these bolts like we took them out. And then the two in the middle. And then the driver's side. Okay, now onto the back side of the bumper. I'm just gonna make sure that this tab is lined up and this is behind the bumper right here. And then we're just gonna make sure that this hole lines up over the edge of the bumper. And that hole lines up as well. We're gonna get our 10 millimeter bolt. Make sure the fender is over so we can secure both. And then the bottom tab, we'll just take the clip. Oh. Okay, with those back bolts on, just gonna make sure these are clipped back in to the bumper. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, so now with the bumper back on, I'm just gonna make sure this harness is out of the way so it doesn't get pinched. We're gonna throw the grill and shroud back on, making sure to connect to this side right here, snapping in these two tabs. Okay, so with this popped back on, make sure these holes are lined up. We're gonna go ahead and reach down in here, grab the harness that we disconnected before, just snap that back in. 
and then snap in the tab that went up into this right there. With that plugged in, we're just gonna get our 10 millimeter bolts and those go. Grabbing this 10 millimeter bolt, just gonna bolt it back into where we got it from in the middle. Our last two clips are these two right here. They just go at the corner of the headlight and snap in. All right, with that grill back in and the hood shut, this install is done. The headlights look awesome. They look super sleek and blacked out. We're gonna go ahead and show you what they look like with the lights on so you can get a taste for yourself. If you want these, we have them in the description below to our website to tacomalifestyle.com. And so to go hit that link in the description below, if you liked this video, please like and comment below and subscribe to us if you wanna see other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.